George, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious if I could get both of you on this. You know, you're two of the youngest players in the NCAA hockey this season, and yet you were both able to have outstanding seasons. I'm curious, you know, for, for Artie and, and Zeev, you know, you kind of had an idea of what college hockey would be like in your mind. What were your, and then how did you sort of maybe exceed those expectations in your, in your play? Uh, yeah, I think for me, um, with NCP, obviously you get to, to play college games or 18 years, so, um, you know, kind of got a little taste of it. So going into college, kind of knew a little bit what to expect, and um, obviously had a, a great coaching staff and um, a lot of good players around me to kind of help me through, I guess, the change of it. So, um, you know, for me it was a pretty smooth transition, and um, yeah, it was really good. Yeah, I think for me, I was expecting that it will be really like uh, hockey, college hockey, that it's a different level there and uh, just, yeah, different uh, game there. Hi, this is uh, for Hardy, John Worrell um, with the Associated Press. Just the decision behind coming to North America and playing college hockey, why was that important to you? The key was just good for my development. Uh, I spent one season in UCHO and uh, in, and I decided to go to college for uh, my after my season in UCHO and uh, yeah, I just decided that this will be just good for me, good for my uh, development, for my growth uh, uh, in my career. That's why I yeah, go went there. This is for Artie as well. What have your meetings been like with the Blackhawks and? What would it mean for you to go number two overall to them? Yeah, I think I talked with them uh, a lot of times. Uh, yeah, we went to the dinner uh, with them last night. Uh, it was a good conversation with them. It was good to meet with them. I think, yeah, we'll see. Never, never know. I mean, yeah. Z with uh, the WJC and uh, national title. How nice was it to arrive at the combine with the reputation of a winner? Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I was obviously, obviously very fortunate to be on uh, you know two really good teams and um, you know meet a lot of great guys. So um, for me, it was uh, two awesome experiences, and um, you know it feels really good to, to kind of have have won both of those. Uh, just a quick follow up for both of you with so many great defensemen in this draft. What would it mean to either one of you to be the first one taken at this draft? <laughs> uh, I think. I mean, you know, there's a lot of great players. For me, it's uh, more about the team and the organization more than, um, you know, what number I want to go to a team that, that wants me for me and, and who I am as a person and a player. Uh, I think, yeah, I, I support uh, his opinion. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, uh, so like, yeah, I think he's a really good player too. <laughs> but yeah, I think we'll see. I mean, I think uh, for me, actually, it's uh, just to be drafted in the NHL, it will be really like, uh, this will be uh, pretty cool for me. And just, uh, I just, yeah, any team will be good uh, for me. Um. Chris Peters, Full Sports. Um, you guys both, obviously freshman year, when teams ask you how soon you'll be ready for the NHL, what have you answered to them? Uh, I think, yeah, sure, of course. I think it takes a little bit of time to, um, I mean, yeah, prepare for it, to be ready uh, to play in the NHL. But uh, I think it just, yeah, takes a little bit of time. Yeah, I think for me, um, you know, my, I, I like to be where my feet are. And, uh, you know, right now that's Denver, but um, you know, you never know what can kind of happen with the draft and, um, you know, if, it, if a team really wants you to come in. So uh, for me, it's just more so for discussion with, uh, you know, whatever organization I get drafted to. And do you, do you feel ready, though, if you if, if the time came? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I can make the transition. I, do I think another year at Denver could help? Yeah, but, um, you know, I also think I can make the transition, um, you know, just with the way I think the game and um, kind of where I feel with my body right now. This one's for Artie. Um, so coming from, like, how, how did you get the, to come to the USHL from, from home? How did that whole process uh, Yeah, I think I was, uh, first I was drafted by USHL team, by the Man Gamblers, and uh, just uh, first I talked with my uh, advisors, with my family, and with coach uh, Mike, Mike Loney, who worked there for the last two seasons, and uh, just, uh, yeah, I decided that it's, again, will be just uh, good for me, good for my uh, development uh, to play in uh, USHL. Uh, but uh, uh, yeah, uh, actually, I wanted to play in CHL before VCHL, but unfortunately, it was uh, canceled for uh, Russian, the Russian players. And uh, 
so I had option to play in the UCHL, then, uh, then I had option to go to college. That uh, and yeah, just because yeah, I uh, just wanted to chase my dream. Yeah, and uh, and I came yeah here to the US because uh, yeah, just you know, my dream to be in the NHL and uh, uh, yeah, just I spent one season there, then I went to college and think. Uh, yeah, and uh, it worked for me. What was the biggest culture change for you? Was it like food or something like that? I think everything. When I came first time to America, everything new for me, like, uh, I mean, the culture is new, the country is new, and the language was uh, uh, different too. And uh, just everything was uh, new for me, and also the level of hockey was different, and we played uh, in Belarus. This is also for Artie, Ben Pope from the Chicago Sun-Times. Um, just kind of building on that, but um, you'll most likely be the highest player ever drafted from Belarus, and w what would that mean for you? I think it's uh, just, uh, yeah, it's cool uh, for me and also for my country. Uh, yeah, it's really, really cool. And how do you feel like your game has grown in the two years since coming here? What, what have you improved the most? Uh, I think uh, I improved uh, everything i think i improved my uh, game and uh and defense and uh offense i think and everywhere but still yeah i need to improve more already indeed uh for each of you is there anything specifically you can pinpoint that each of your coaches told you that improved your game your performance this season uh, i think for me just uh you know my ability to defend different kinds of players and um, just the consistency within my defense. Um, you know, I said all the time, but I want to be a guy that can, uh, you know, play the big moments at the end of a game when, um, you know, we need to kill a play. So um, that was kind of the, the biggest thing for me and um, what my coach is kind of helped me the most this year. Uh, I think uh, for me, yeah, just uh, uh, want to uh, just yeah, improve uh, my game. Like I think I need to improve my yeah, consistency in the ice and the. Uh, I think I need to play more uh, consistently and uh, just, uh, yeah. Mark Shack from the Hockey Writers. For both of you, what was the most common question you got from the teams during the week in your interviews? Uh, for me, it was probably just, uh, you know, what was the difference between, um, you know, my U18 year at, at the national team and, um, you know, my first year at Denver. And, uh, I think for me it was just you know my confidence level and um, kind of where I am as a, as a player right now than where I even was a year ago. So um, you know I've grown a lot, I've uh, you know, developed a lot mentally and, and uh, physically. So um, I think that's kind of the biggest thing for me was, was my confidence. Uh, the, the Rochester Americans just hired Mike Leone as coach. Uh, just what impact did he have on his career, and, on your career, excuse me, and just what kind of coach is he? I think first he's a really good guy and uh, also yeah he's a really good coach. I think he deserved it to uh, be there where he is now and uh, just I think he helped me a lot at the beginning uh, when he, yeah when I played in uh, Green Bay for Green Bay I think he helped me a lot. Uh, yeah, I like him more. A specific area he helped you, I guess. I think he uh, helped me everywhere on the ice, outside the ice, in life, yeah. Do a couple more. Uh, Shane Peng, San Jose Hockey Now. This is a question for Zeev. Uh, Macklin Celebrini, he is projected to be the number one pick of this draft. Uh, you played against him in the Frozen Four. Uh, which, what was your impression of him? Uh, yeah, I was a, uh, known him for a while now, going back to our Shag days. Um, you know, first off, he's an unbelievable kid. Um, you know, super outgoing and um, has a great personality. So, um, on the ice, I mean, he's just a stud, right? He's uh, he's good at everything. Um, you know, he's obviously super talented, super smart, and um, if he's not scoring, he's going to run you over as well. So, um, he's just a horse out there, and um, he's really tough to play against. Was well, he kind of the same kid in Shattuck, that same kind of driven kid that he is uh, said to be? Oh yeah, I mean, he, he's one of the hardest working guys I've ever seen, and um, yeah, I mean, he's uh, he's a hell of a hell of a player, and obviously a really good guy as well. So. Um, yeah, I mean, he's been uh, at the top of, of, I guess, his game for, for a while, and um, yeah, he's a, he's, a, he's a stud. And going back to the Frozen Four matchup, how did you guys kind of game plan for him in any sort of special way? I think just knowing, um, you know, what his strengths are and, and what he's good at, and, um, you know, just trying to have a guy on him at all times, and, you know, don't lose, don't lose where he is, 
Um, and uh, you know, whoever's out there with them, know you're out there against them. So, um, you know, for us, it was uh, it was a good challenge, and um, yeah, we uh, we played pretty well. Thanks. Last question. How would you each describe yourself as a player? It's always interesting to see how other people describe you, but how do you describe yourself? I'm a very simple player, actually, guys. Uh, just, uh, <laughs> uh, just try to play hockey and uh, to do my job. Uh, yeah, I try to play fast and I try to uh, play smart and try to help the team win. Yeah, I think uh, for me, I'm a, a two-way, um, you know, more offensive-minded defenseman, and um, you know, I kind of use my hockey IQ kind of with everything I do. So uh, that's kind of my game and, and what I like to do. Thank you, Artem and Zeeb. We'll be back shortly with Caden Lindsay.